Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode of Review Flex, we're going to be talking about the Acolyte, the upcoming Disney Plus Star Wars series. So we have some brand new character posters, some information cards that go along with those posters to give us a bit more description on each of the Jedi characters. And also we have some new TV spots from the series as well. So we're going to be covering all that in this video. So let's jump straight to it. So this comes to us from comicflicknews.com. So, new clip and character posters revealed for Star Wars The Acolyte. So, I know there's a lot of people on the fence when it comes to Star Wars. People are very, very cautious, but some people are optimistic about what they're going to be doing with The Acolyte. Whereas a lot of people have completely fallen off Star Wars, just don't give a damn about anything to do with Star Wars anymore. Which is a shame, because it's still an interesting IP, if it's done right. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. <laughs> Let's jump in and uh, break down what's going on with The Acolyte. So, with less than a week until the two-episode premiere... Of the Acolyte, Disney Plus has ramped up the excitement by releasing a series of character posters. So these posters spotlight the Jedi uh, heroes as well as May, the mysterious dark side assassin central to the series. The posters offer a fresh look at key characters. I'm going to try and pronounce these names guys, I apologise if I butcher these names. May, Jedi Masters Soul, uh, Indira, uh, Kelnaka and Padawan Jekyll Lon. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't say those right. I tried my best. Um, while they don't reveal any spoilers, they do provide intriguing details about each character, helping us understand their roles in the story. Yeah, for someone like me who's a casual fan of Star Wars, I don't know the lore, I don't know the backstory of a lot of characters. Um, I'm kind of just a surface level fan of Star Wars. But this, uh, putting out these posters with the little information cards that attach to each character, for people like me, this kind of helps. Going into the show, it gives me a bit more understanding about each character and how they kind of fit into the show and, you know, a little bit of backstory about who they are. So when I go into the show, I'm not confused, you know, who is this person? What does this person do? Who's this? Um, it just helps to clear it up a little bit more for myself. And I know a lot of you guys out there would kind of appreciate this little bit of information as well. We'll, we'll read into it in a minute, guys. You'll see what I mean. So last night, the first uh, two episodes of The Acolyte were screened at the premiere event in London. Attendees have since shared their reactions on social media. While these responses are generally positive, they are slightly less enthusiastic compared to the initial round of reactions. Yeah, the initial reactions on social media were praising this show. A lot of people had access to the first four episodes and they were saying that it was absolutely fantastic. But then again, Disney Plus has burned us before. They've started off their shows, uh, some of their shows really, really strong. But by the time they get to the end, you know, the shows kind of dip in quality towards the end. That kind of happened with the Obi-Wan show, happened with the Book of Boba Fett. So they kind of have a precedent when it comes to starting off strong and then finishing off kind of weak. So uh, let's hope that doesn't happen with the Acolyte. So you can check out the new character posters and the recently released TV spot that features some exciting new footage from the show. So guys, this is where we get into the meat and potatoes, if you like. We have the brand new character posters here. We are going to break it down and look at each poster individually, along with the accompanying information card as well. But let's just take a look at all of them kind of together here. So I think that these posters actually look really fun. I think they look compelling. I love the kind of, um, you know, the, the light that they've done with the lightsabers. That kind of, um, you know, kind of swooshing sensation that they've done on the lightsabers. Uh, the blur effect, if you like. I'm not sure what the technical term is, so I apologize. But I think these posters look cool. Are they going to get me more hyped for the show? Not necessarily. I mean, trailers normally do that. But a poster, I think the posters look cool. Um, it, I'm definitely like a little bit cautious about this show um, based on previous experience with Star Wars and Disney. But um, yeah, I think these posters look cool. And I think a lot of people will get excited about looking at these posters. For myself, it doesn't really increase or decrease my excitement. Um, but I think they look cool anyway. So let's go down and take a look at these individual kind of um, character posters and uh, see what we can learn. So starting off with this one, we have May, a mysterious young woman with a tragic past. May gets swept up into a sinister mystery, one that puts her into the center of a conflict. In unexpected ways, she is determined to exact vengeance on those who wronged her and little can stop May on her quest. A mysterious young woman with a tragic past swept up uh, into a sinister mystery, one that puts her into the center of a conflict in unexpected ways. So yeah, this kind of mysterious kind of assassin Sith who looks like she's going to be attacking people. And uh, we've seen some uh, fight scenes, choreography between Jedi and this mysterious assassin character. 
in clips that they've released from the show. Some of the choreography and the fight scenes actually look really kind of intriguing. But yeah, I think this character can be compelling if she's written well. We'll have to see when the show comes out. But that's cool to learn a little bit more. Didn't know the name of the character was Mei, so uh, I learned something new there. So going on to the next one, we have Indira or Indara. I'm not sure how you say that. I apologize. So Master Indara or Miss Master Indira. It's a Jedi uh, master of great physical and mental skill. She has exacting control on her force abilities, exuding a sense of command and authority with just her presence. Though she does not seek combat, she is skilled enough to engage on her own terms. That sounds really cool. Um, physical and mental skill. She has exacting control of her force abilities, exuding a sense of command and authority. So it sounds like a bit of a badass here. We saw that released clip of um, Indira fighting the assassin and the fight choreography was excellent. It looked pretty damn good, I have to admit. As much as I want to kind of dump on this show sometimes, that fight scene between um, Indira and the uh, skilled assassin, you know, it was, it was pretty damn good, I have to admit. So moving on to the next one, we have uh, Kelnaka, a wiki Jedi master. Kelnaka has uh, sequestered himself entangled jungles of kufar um he is a loner who lives a solitary life so we have a bit of a lone wolf kind of character here which is kind of cool to hear about that would be me if i was a jedi i'd probably be a lone wolf um kelnaka a wookie character jedi master um who lives in kufar who is a loner who lives a solitary life so that's kind of what separates this wookie character from the rest of the jedi he kind of lives by himself keeps to himself but um, I can't wait to see what this Wookiee Jedi character does. Because I think a Wookiee Jedi is, you know, a really cool kind of combination of two different characters that I like. So uh, I'm interested to see what that character does. So on to the next one, we have Jackie Lon. A skilled and studious Padawan learner, Jackie Lon shows great promise in her path to becoming a Jedi Knight. The Padawan apprentice to Master Soul is young, but she projects calm and conducts herself with maturity. So yeah, it sounds pretty cool. A Padawan learner here, so... We're getting into the kind of younger ranks of the Jedi Order here. It's great to have a Padawan kind of being part of the show as well. So we're getting kind of all stages of different Jedi. You know, from Jedi Masters to Padawans to kind of lone, um, lone Rangers or Lone Wolves with that uh, wiki character. So this is what kind of separates all these different kind of um, levels of the Jedi Order. So it's great to see that they have their differences here. So on to the next one. We have Soul. Master Soul is a wise, highly respected Jedi Master. Strong in the ways of the Force, still and stalwart, Soul has a deep sense of compassion and will defend those who cannot defend themselves. He is a powerful warrior with intense emotions that he uses his Jedi training to balance. So it sounds like this guy is going to be all kinds of badass. He's the kind of he's the kind of commander Jedi. He's like the badass. He's at the top of the game. He's the Jedi master. Um, he's the guy you probably don't want to fuck with. <laughs> But he's the guy that I'm most looking forward to seeing. I think this guy is going to lay the smack down with the force on some fools. And uh, yeah, I think this guy is going to be great. I can't wait to see what they do with him. But um, Soul, a master. Soul is wise. Highly respected Jedi master. And uh, yeah, let's see what this guy can do. Show us your force powers, mate. Show us something we haven't seen before. But this guy, like I said, he's going to lay the smack down on fools. <laughs> so moving on to this. Uh, the Mask of the Villain in the Acolyte is inspired by the horror genre, says creator Leslie Headland. Um, and we have a picture here of what the actual Sith character is going to look like. So this is going to be um, the main bad villain within the series, I would imagine. But the mask looks kind of cool. It's literally like a, just a black mask. It doesn't really have much kind of texture on it. We have these kind of red lines. It has a red hue on it. Obviously, when it comes to the Sith... They kind of have that red hue, like whether it's a red lightsaber or kind of like red um, parts of red on their costume to kind of delineate them from the Jedi. Uh, we have this red hue on the helmet. We have these kind of cracks down the front of the helmet. And then it looks like here we have this kind of big smile almost with these teeth um, projecting out of the front of the helmet. It does look creepy as hell. And the design is very simplistic. Um, but sometimes the most simplistic horror designs are almost um, are sometimes the creepiest as well. So... Yeah, it's very simplistic, very laid back design, but it's very creepy. And uh, I wouldn't want to bump into this guy in a dark alleyway, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks cool. Um, so, the Acolyte. In one week, the Acolyte will be revealed. Don't miss the two epic premiere of the Acolyte, a Star Wars original series, streaming June 4th on Disney+. And we have this small clip here, so let's take a look at this clip. I think it's only about 10 seconds long. So let's quickly play it and see what it shows us.
so yeah, that was basically it. There's not, not much to see there that we haven't already seen. A bit of fight choreography and kind of just uh, just a small 10 second clip basically. But um, yeah, pretty cool nonetheless. So on to the next one. We have uh, a S I Sense Darkness. Get ready for the two episode premiere of The Acolyte. Just saying the same thing on June the 4th. So let's go on this one. I'm not sure how long this clip is. 25 seconds this one. Last night, a Jedi was murdered. I sense darkness. What are you? Yeah, I mean, that clip was pretty cool. Got some fight choreography. We got the lightsaber whip in there, which is really cool, unique and fresh. Having a lightsaber whip, that's all kinds of badass. And we got a look at that kind of Sith character standing on the rocks, kind of in the background as a silhouette, his red lightsaber gets um, ignited. So uh, I'll be interested to dive into that character more and kind of as the episodes go on, it will slowly reveal that Sith character as to who he is, where he comes from, his origins, and I'm sure we're going to learn a little bit more about him. So the Acolyte brings a thrilling investigation into a shocking crime spree, pitting a respectful Jedi Master, Li Zhang Zhe, against a dangerous warrior from his past, Amanda Stenberg. As they uncover more clues, they embark on a dark journey where sinister forces reveal that nothing is what it seems. Are you excited for Star Wars The Acolyte? Let us know in the comments below. So that's kind of where we are, guys. So we've had a bit of a breakdown of the character posters, had a look at a couple of TV spots, and we've also had a look at this kind of chilling design for this kind of Sith character with the kind of smiley face and the horror aesthetic, which is kind of quite quite a simple kind of laid back design, but it's kind of cool at the same time. So guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about these character posters. Do they get you more hyped for the show? Do they not really kind of move the needle for you? And are you kind of going to be tuning into the show when it lands on June the 4th? Or do you not really care about Star Wars at all? Whatever your thoughts are, pop them into the comment section. Can't wait to see what you have to say, guys. Hit that like and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in the next one.